Hello, Naked Turners, and welcome to another episode of The Naked Turner. Uh, today, I have a piece of wood chucked up here, which, uh, let me pan down and show you that. Okay, so here it is. I'm not really sure what it is, although it looks kind of like a paduke or something like that. Um, it is a piece of... Uh, exotic wood from the Yucatan. I'm not sure exactly what, but it is an extremely beautiful piece of wood here. I have it roughed into a cylinder. Um, this is a piece of wood that I got when I went back to Montana recently, and uh, this was a piece my father had left behind on the property that he sold, which has since been um, abandoned. So we, my little brother and I went back out there and I found about four or five pieces of wood. This is one of them. I think I'm going to turn this into a goblet. All right, so as always, anytime you're doing any work with power tools, remember to read, understand, and follow all the safety for the tool that you're using. And most importantly, once again, don't forget your face shield when you're turning. Okay, so here we go. Starting out with my uh, bowl gouge and forward gear. Okay, so there's the basic shape of the goblet itself. Now I want to hollow out the inside before I do too much here. So now I have it chucked up on my scrolling jaw chuck. And I'm going to start carefully turning away. All right, I'm going to do a little drilling here. Increasing the speed. Up to about 1400. Okay, more hollowing. Just 
trying to move the camera a little bit. Okay, I have this sanded down. I applied some denatured alcohol inside of this and then a little bit of shellac as a sanding sealer so that the denatured alcohol cut the shellac down. And now I'm going to hit it with some super fine abrasive. Okay, so I'm hitting it with a uh, very fine abrasive right now, just lightly to remove any of the burrs that might have popped up. There we go. And now I'll just wipe it down again. Okay. It feels good. It's got a good seal on it. Now I'll put some of my friction rub finish on. Alright, so I'm going to apply some of my shallow wax, homemade shallow wax finish. Very much like a shallow wax, only it's made by me. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on and run it slow work some of that finish in. Now I'm going to turn up the speed. Finish that into the bottom. And the side wall. on the outside. got a real pretty grain to it. Let me uh, spin you around this level so you can see a little better. All right. There it is. Okay, so I have my tailstock pressurizing the piece here. And See how it's running, looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna work away, turn this down to about 1200. And then I'm gonna start changing the shape here. Okay, so now I'm going to sand 
the inside of the ring here a little bit. And we're doing that with this. All right, so I've placed a piece of uh, sticky back PSA sandpaper right here. And now I'm going to sand the inside. of my cup of ring. So now to keep the uh, captive ring out of the way, I'm putting rubber bands through, like so. I put one in on one side, and I'll put the other one on this side, and then wrap it around like that. And that will keep that sucked up there out of the way so I can turn the rest of this stem without it getting in the way. All right, and here we go. This is locked off. I'll bring my tool rest down a little bit, and there you have it. All right, I'm going to part this off, and here we go. Okay, and now stop. And what I want to do is this off completely parting with my left hand keeping a hand on this with my right and there we go there you have it, finished captive ring goblet. And I'll take a couple stills and post them at the end of this video. Thanks for watching another episode of The Naked Turner. Hope you enjoyed and I'll post a few stills.